Hey guys and welcome to a new edition of News Bites. This is my uh, roundup of the latest tech news from last seven days, uh, all wrapped up in around about five minutes or so. And um, obviously first edition of 2021, so I hope you guys all had a, a great um, Christmas and, and New Year. And uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome for everybody else. You know, thanks for joining me back in the new year. So let's get to it. So in one of my previous videos, I did actually mention about uh, that um, DRAM prices were starting to, to go up and that's going to be, uh, you know, potentially going to be affecting things like GPUs and SSDs and, and you know, stuff like that. And um, it's been reported that uh, Asus have uh, officially announced that they're going to be increasing the prices of, uh, of their uh, com uh, you know, things like cards, graf graphics cards, and various other components, and um, you know, there's there's a couple of reasons for this. You know, there's there's import tariffs on it, but also general component cost as well. So I think somebody's actually going to work out that um, on a on a GPU, this is going to add something like an extra eighty dollars to the cost price. And uh, obviously, from from our perspective as consumers, uh, these things are already selling for way over. Um, manufacturer's recommended price so you know it's it's going to be a painful start to the, um, 2021 in terms of uh, costs of these uh, these things but you know it's not just going to be asus that's going to have these price increases this is going to go, go across the board this you know they're, they're all going to uh, have these kind of tariff um, increases so uh, and, and it's not just going to be graphics cards you're going to get this across motherboards uh, SSDs, you're going to get cases, you're going to get on power supplies. Um, yeah, really going to be an expensive time ahead if, you, if you're going to be buying or building a, a PC. So um, yeah, keep an eye on those prices if you've been holding out for things to be going cheaper. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be going um, the other way really. So uh, you know, probably now is probably the best time to to try and get stuff. Certainly, I wouldn't get a graphics card at the moment. I, I would probably hold on for that. Uh, you know, I have plans for upgrading the, the GPU on my system. And um, yeah, I mean, that, that's been on hold for a number of months at the moment. Uh, next, we've got uh, apparently Samsung are going to do a refresh of the uh, Evo uh, range of uh, SSDs. So they're going to have the new uh, 870. And um, difficult to you know what they're going to achieve here i think um you know the technology that they're using on the, on the 870 compared to the 860 it, it's identical um you know, there's a slight performance increase but other than a bit of a redesign of uh you know the, the graphics on the uh, on the, the the drive itself i don't think there's going to be a huge amount of uh, benefit from it uh certainly yeah, if it reduces the prices of the 860s then yeah, good time to get the 860 if you're after a new SSD. But um, yeah, we, we really want things like um, XNAND, which I mentioned in a previous video as well. We really need that kind of stuff to, to come on board that uh, consumers uh, can start buying that and, and getting that into their system. So uh, a little bit underwhelmed by, uh, by that announcement from Samsung. Obviously, from a technology perspective, uh, CES 2021, a uh, huge event normally and uh, it's all going to be virtual this year and it starts next week uh, i think it's the 11th that it starts and um yeah obviously you know with a with a current pandemic around the world uh you know the only option they've got is to is to have it virtual or, or cancel the event so um there's going to be i think it's a thousand exhibitors uh with new products uh, uh on display there so really interested to see what comes out of that you know the registration website was down when i when i had a check of it uh, today but um, i'm sure it'll be back up soon enough you know if you're uh, in the trade and you want to have a look at some of that stuff so we will um we will have to see what comes out keep an eye on that finally on this this bit of an update uh is this kfc console out of nowhere um i, I saw a bit of a mention of this before uh, the end of 2020 and uh, like all these things, you kind of think they're a bit of a joke, you know, and, um, y you know, maybe it's not intended for, for proper release. But apparently Cooler Master are behind this and um, it's got an Intel NUC 
uh, inside it and uh, you know with a fully upgradable GPU unit as well so it's, it's fairly future proof. A couple of uh, Seagate Barracuda uh, NVMe SSDs in it so uh, you know you'll be able to uh, certainly you know, keep that system up to date for a number of years. I'm not sure you can quite call it a console with it having so many PC components in it but uh, you know that's that's the intention of it and um, the the big thing that they're hoping is the selling point for it obviously apart from the PC game inside of things is the fact that it's got this chicken warmer tray in it um, yes you can actually you know stick your chicken fillets in there your your cholesterol building chicken fillets and keep them warm whilst you're gaming so uh, interesting to see when that comes out uh, no prices on it yet it looks an interesting unit and um, you know what's McDonald's going to bring out we'll have to wait and see so guys that's about it for uh, for this update hope you enjoyed it if you uh, if you did you know um, hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel any comments questions you know drop them down below and I will answer them as, uh, as quickly as I can but for now thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one bye for now